Queen apparently, you report, didn't want Meghan at Philip's funeral. Why? Well, she was didn't want to be the attention diverted from Philip. If Meghan had been there, she would have uh, got all the attention. I mean, the Harry walk up the hill with uh, William was that just showed how the media was focused mm. on re the reconciliation and everything after Oprah. So when she said to one of her aides, "Thank goodness, Meghan isn't coming," she meant it. It was a heartfelt. Was it the Queen that kicked them off the balcony at the Jubilee? Well, I think it was the Queen, but also I'm sure Charles and William mm. had a big say in that. They weren't going to allow Netflix to dominate their, their big celebration. I really can't stand the climate lecture from somebody who took a private jet, most assuredly, to go give that speech. I, I can't believe it. I mean, if we compared my climate footprint to his, there'd be no comparison whatsoever. And look, if I had private jet money, I'd take a private jet. He obviously was born into those kinds of connections. And if you're born a prince, you generally have advantages that almost no one else will have to make your life whatever it is that you want and to do whatever it is you want, with maybe one exception, and that is to be a professional victim which unfortunately seems to be the career path that he's m most attracted to is he is whining at every chance he gets about almost everything nonstop without offering any sort of solution or even acknowledgement for the way some of his own behavior might contribute to the problems he's complaining about. Right. He also likened his struggle for freedom to Nelson Mandela's, who, just yeah. to remind everybody, spent 27 years in a six-by-six -six prison cell. Do you see any obvious parallels between their battles for freedom? <laughs> of course not. There are no parallels at all, uh, Piers, uh, because you'll see one is obviously fighting for the dignity of black people against a vicious tyrant like apartheid, uh, obviously as opposed to one finding their own identity outside a said institution. Uh, obviously these are very different things, but I guess, you know, how you define freedom for an individual is, 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 can, be, can be different, um, and maybe for them it was a real struggle to finally make that decision, number one, and to also be able to carry out. I mean, just because you got to that decision, it's always easier said than done. So, to some extent, maybe that's how they felt. Uh, obviously, those are definitely two worlds apart. When you got to the end of the book, did you have any sympathy for Meghan Markle? Did you buy into her thing that she had no idea what she's really getting into? Oh, on the contrary, I think she's a very scheming, very uh, clever woman. No, I think the, the surprising thing at the end of the book, I realised how successful she'd been. Mm. Here was a woman who was nothing. I mean, born, broken family, the whole thing, uh, an act un unknown actress, all the rest of it, becomes a global star, which is what she wanted. When she was about to nine or ten, she said to her father, I want to be famous, I want to walk down the red carpet. And she has now done that. And she's c calculated that she could be a great success. And, and, and by marrying Harry, she did it. And so Are I they in trouble now, though? Is the Sussex brand on the downward slope? A lot of American friends of mine are completely done with them, which they weren't even sure, a year ago. Sure, sure. And this, may, this book may hasten yeah. the downward trend, yeah. for which I wouldn't be sad at all, because they pose a real threat to the royal family. Well, that's what I've felt from... A, the reason I've been so exercised about them is I think they are destroying a lot of the magic of the monarchy. They're, they're calling the royals a bunch of callous racists and so on without producing any hard evidence to support any of these on claims. On the contrary. And it's incredibly damaging. Actually telling untruths. Yeah. And I think that was terrible. That's really why I wrote the book, mm. because I just thought this woman is really doing something quite dreadful to Britain and mm. Harry has fallen in love with her in a ludicrous way mm. and has gone along as her accomplice. We're living through a pandemic that continues to ravage communities in every corner of the globe. Climate change wreaking havoc on our planet, with the most vulnerable suffering most of all. The few weaponizing lies and disinformation at the expense of the many. And from the horrific war in Ukraine, to the rolling back of constitutional rights here in the United States, we are witnessing a global assault on democracy and freedom. We are witnessing a global assault on democracy. And you have all got to take climate change seriously, even if I use private jets like a taxi service. Do you hear me, all of you? Do you? When did he become this miserable guy? He's so miserable and pompous and po-faced. Oh, I know. It's when he met Megan.